These tests prove that Torsion Flex technology creates the smoothest ride possible. We took a team of independent engineers, we developed a local road course, and then we took it to Navistar Proving Ground. It really gave us a lot of clarity on what makes the most difference in what combination. It standalone was the most beneficial thing that you could throw on, just looking from data points all the way back across the graph. So my name is Dominic Balancio. I lead innovation for Brinkley RV. Not associated with Gen Y other than we're just a customer for you guys. And I'm here to talk about some feedback from testing and personal experience using the product. So I've got personal experience towing this. Uh, one of our owners, Nate, was nice enough to let me borrow his truck to tow one of our units down for Thanksgiving. Um, my wife was terrified. She's never really towed anything. Um, She's never really been in the truck when I've moved stuff around historically for my job, so she was in a bit of a panic mode when we were leaving. Um, after we got set up, she sort of felt a little bit better, and once we started moving, I mean, she immediately freaked out she didn't think the trailer was connected. I mean, we haven't even left the parking lot, so I'm like, okay, we've got nine to 10 hours. This is not gonna go well. And from Elkhart, Indiana, by the time we got to Syracuse, she was basically asleep, and it's, all goes back to kind of the ease of towing is that took away any of the shock which would have translated into more worry for her and she had a very enjoyable experience and even said afterwards like she can now see why people rv i've been doing this 10 12 years and it was kind of shocking that it took that for her to understand why people would rv but i think she always had just this fear of how bad are these things going to tow what do you actually feel? You know, is it basically going to just beat you up the entire way? And that wasn't the experience at all. She felt extremely safe. Most of the time, she just kind of nodded in and out of sleep. And we got to Centerville, Tennessee in fine fashion, parked at my sister-in-law's and went about Thanksgiving. I'm uh, Nate Goldenberg. I'm one of the owners of Brinkley. I oversee our Model G product line, which is our uh, toy hauler line. And then I also oversee our customer care department. You know, frankly, after we started towing with Gen Y products and using them, uh, me personally, I didn't want to. I didn't want to have anything without it um, because, you know, we really try to build our units like we want them personally. And um, I wouldn't tow without one, and, and I feel like our customers should have that same benefit. As we were researching online, you know, I kept hearing customers talk about Gen Y and. Um, really got intrigued and you know part of it was I've been doing this for 20 years and a lot of what I was hearing frankly just sounded too good to be true you know I I want to hear it really like from an unbiased third party so I actually bought a gooseneck version a pin box as well as a regular pin box and I sent them to two personal friends who are avid campers put a ton of miles on a year and um, so we sent them out and I told them that you know no cost I'll send them to you, just put them on, try them, and you know, let me know what you think. And uh, my buddy Chad from Georgia calls and um, says, you know, I didn't know what to think of this thing at first, but I read online after, you know, it takes about a thousand miles to break in, and after it was broken in, um, Nate, it's unreal. And, you know, I absolutely love it. In fact, six people out of the 13 in my camping group, I've convinced now to buy Gen Ys because it was so great. And uh, similar testimony from my buddy Scott in New Jersey. And, um, you know, he put it on and, you know, for the first time ever traveling back from the Carolinas, he said his wife Colleen was, was happy with the ride and uh, almost all the chucking was gone completely. And um, hearing that firsthand from two guys I, I respect that are very experienced, you know, encouraged us to engage directly. We, we bought more of them. We started putting them on units ourselves and towing with them. And, um, you know, really every, all the hype I was hearing online uh, really proved out in our own personal experience. And, you know, my business partner, Micah, went on a West Coast trip and he had one on for, I think 7,000 miles or something. And, um, you know, they're, they're great. And not only do we feel like it improves the towing experience, but we do feel like it's a it's more of a cushioned ride for the units and um, you know if I look at all the partnerships we have as an organization you know Gen Y is one that we definitely put on a pedestal. 
We're Craig and Victoria with Wild RV Life and we travel full time in our RV. Yeah, we've been on the road for just under three years now RVing and got a lot more places to go. So we, we typically tow uh, here recently for like the past six months we tow about every weekend ranging from 400 to uh, here recently we traveled over a couple days 1500 miles um, bought my truck with 8,000 miles on it right before we set out and uh, we have 75,000 miles on it now not all of it's towing but again we tow every weekend near about it's a lot of a miles. lot let's suffice it to say a lot of miles <laughs> yeah for a while Craig actually had been talking about switching to a goose neck hitch just because we really wanted to be able to get that space in the bed of our truck back yeah. but we were always worried about having enough room to turn because we have the short bed ram mega cab truck so we did not want to crunch the back of our truck <laughs> with <No>. the rv <laughs> however when we met some other people that had the same exact truck same exact rv as us and they had the gen y offset goose puck which brings the ball back mm -hmm. about five inches so that you get that extra turning room well Craig was sold after that <laughs> yeah I, I think that the biggest thing for me was uh because I, I was a little skeptic on it still uh just like a lot of people who um have an rv and it's set up for fifth wheel uh kingpin hitch uh you don't want to switch to something and then have issues because you made that switch however i talked to a lot of people that had already made the switch and it nobody had anything bad to say about it they all said it rode smoothly some said that they did have a break-in period which with gen y they do claim a thousand mile break-in period and then after that break-in period everybody said it was it rode smooth um so after talking to them and, and all the people i've ran into that had it i was like okay i'm gonna make this switch and um I'm, I wish I'd have done it sooner. It has been, it, it honestly has been a really good hitch since we've made the switch. And the hitch we had before, it was a slider hitch, which worked phenomenally for what it was supposed to do. However, it used the entire bed of our short bed truck and um, was, I don't know, probably 200, 250 pounds. And I thought it was gonna be in there for the rest of that truck's life. But uh, then, we got the gooseneck from Gen Y and got their system. Now I have the bed of the truck back. I have a lot less weight in the back of the truck and it's, it's been really good. And it's towed well. As a passenger, I don't even notice that we're towing the RV most of the time. The hitch we had before the Gen Y hitch was a slider hitch. Um, with slider hitch, you have different components that need to move so it can slide, which is makes sense. And uh, so with ours, every time you would stop and start to go like traffic light, whatever, or even going over train tracks, because they're usually a little bit rougher than typical, uh, it, it would jerk. Uh, just it's the moving parts that have a little space in between them and it would jerk and clank and make noise. Oh gosh, see it made the weird noise again. Yeah, it's just our hitch. Where with the Gen Y hitch, it sits down on the ball that is mounted where it's at. Like it doesn't move. Nothing moves on the hitch other than the torsion uh, spring shocks in it, which you don't feel. You don't feel the torsion shocks in it. So it's switching to that has taken out all of the clinking and jerking as you stop and start going. It's definitely felt like a much smoother ride overall. Like mm -hmm. I said, I don't really even notice that we're towing when we're towing, um, which is exactly what you want when you spend hours upon hours upon hours of your life <laughs> towing your hot house down the road. Also with the RV we have, it's a Brinkley RV. So having them endorse Gen Y and honor the warranty, even switching to the Gen Y Gooseneck system and everything. You gave us a lot of confidence yeah, about yeah. the switch. To make the switch and now I'm like, I, I'd put the Gen Y hitch on any trailer. It's just been so good so far, you know, no issues at all. And we've put oh, a lot of thousands of miles on it by now. At least three to 4,000 miles on the hitch since we've had it. So. Mm -hmm.